Welcome to the Phoenix Pro Guide to Aruba Central. In this video, we'll show you how to configure secure corporate wireless access using a pre-shared key. This is the lab setup we're going to use for this video. We have a router connected to the internet. We have two internal networks set up and the router is also serving as a DHCP server for those networks. We have switch ports connecting to the access points configured as untagged on Finance VLAN 201 and tagged on Marketing VLAN 202. In preparation for this video, I've licensed two access points and connected them to the switch as shown in the lab diagram. You can see they've come online and formed a cluster with AP555 being the virtual controller. At the bottom of the screen, we can see an error message saying that there is no country code set. Without a country code being set, access points will not broadcast any SSIDs, so we're going to set the country code now. Edit the virtual controller, select Australia, click save, and then save again. Now we're going to start our wireless configuration, but first we need to create a group. Groups serve as configuration containers for devices. Under All Devices Context, click on Organization, and under the Groups tab, click on New Group. We're not creating a template group, so unselect all of the checkboxes. Give it a name. In this example, we're going to call it Lab. Then create a password, and click on Add Group. Under All Devices Context, select the group that you have just created. Click on Devices. You'll notice there are no access points assigned to this group yet. We'll create the configuration first and apply to the access points later. So, click on the configuration button in the top right corner and under the WLANs tab, we'll create our first network. Click on the Add SSID button. We're going to call this network Finance and click on Next. We're going to leave the client IP assignment as external DHCP server. Then we're going to drop the authenticator clients into the native or untagged VLAN. Click on Next. Let's choose WPA2 personal key type and make up a secure passphrase. Click on Next. We'll give the clients unrestricted access to the network. Click Next and have a look at the summary. It's telling us that we're creating an SSID called Finance that'll broadcast on all bands. Also, that we're using a WPA2 pre-shared key and placing the authenticator client onto the native VLAN. Click on Finish and OK. The next thing we need to do is apply this config to our access points. First, change to Global Context, then click on Organization. Select the virtual cluster and drag it into the lab group that we created. Doing this will apply the configuration of the lab group to the cluster. Click Yes to confirm. Now click on All Devices and change the context to the lab group, then change the view to Show Clients. I'm now going to connect to this network using my laptop. So, I'll connect to the Finance SSID, entering the password, and click on Next. You can see that we've got an IP on the Finance network. Now we're going to try and ping some local gateways on both the Finance and Marketing networks. We can also ping Google and access a website such as seek.com.au. Going back to Central, let's check out the client connections. Select Clients in the main menu. Here we can see our client is connecting wirelessly. If you click on the client itself, you can get more information, such as the client's IP address, host name, and the VLAN it's on. You can also see that it's connecting to the Finance SSID on AP555. If you click on the Connectivity tab, you can see the client's bandwidth usage. If you click on the Sessions tab, you'll see all currently open sessions that this client has on the network right now. In this example, note that our client is currently connecting on channel 52, which is an 80 MHz channel. What I want to do is to change that to a 20 MHz channel, which is best practice in environments with a lot of interference. To do that, exit out of the client, click on Devices, then click on Configuration, and go to the Radios tab. Expand Access Point Control, and you can see that the wide channel bands are enabled on 5 GHz and support for 80 MHz is enabled as well. Uncheck 80 MHz support and change the wide channel bands to none. Save settings and go back to list view. Wait a few seconds, then refresh the page. And you'll see that in our example, both access points have changed to 20 MHz. Now, let's set up the second wireless network for the marketing department. Click on configuration, add SSID and call it marketing. Let's have a look at the advanced settings. 
In this example, we'll adjust the transmit rates to 12 megabits per second, since we don't have any 802.11b devices on the network, which should improve the performance a little. Click on miscellaneous and set it to only broadcast this SSID on the 2.4 GHz band. So this SSID will not be broadcast on 5 GHz. Scroll down and click on next. We're still going to use the external DHCP server, but we're going to place marketing clients on the marketing network VLAN 202. Click on next. Let's use personal WPA2, set a passphrase and click on next. Now let's set up some network based access rules. You can see that allow all is enabled by default. Click on add rule. First thing we're going to do is to deny access to the finance network. Then click OK. Let's add another rule. For example, to stop marketing clients from browsing any job search websites. Click OK. You can see that the marketing clients are not allowed to browse any job search websites or access the finance network. Other than that, they're allowed to access everything else. Click on next and let's do a quick review. So we're creating a new SSID for marketing, only broadcasting on 2.4 gigahertz band. We trim the basic rates up to 12 megabits per second. We're using WPA2 personal encryption and replacing authenticated clients on VLAN 202, which is the marketing VLAN. Click on finish. And now let's try connecting to the marketing SSID on my laptop. So you type in the password and you can see that we're on the marketing VLAN. We can ping the marketing gateway. But if I try to ping an IP on the finance network, we're unable to reach that because of the rules we have set up. Similarly, I can ping Google and access a new site, but if I try to access a job search site like seek.com.au, it will not let us, again due to the rules we've set up. Now let's go back to central, click on clients and we can see that we have one client connected to the marketing SSID on AP303H and that it's connecting on channel 6 on 2.4 GHz and the IP is 10.20.2.103. We can then look at some stats for this client and some open sessions as well. We hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. For access to more resources, visit phoenixpro.club.